What's up, YouTube? It's your white-looking Native American friend, Tyrone. So today, uh, I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial, and this is how to get custom Minecraft maps from your Mac to your Xbox. Uh, I'm making this just because I watched other people's tutorials online uh, recently to be able to do this, and none of them worked. Um, so to do this, all you're going to need is a USB. Uh, mine's only 1.9 gigabyte. Um, your Mac, your console, and then a program called Velocity. Now all these other tutorials tell you to use this Velocity program and to use the raw device manager, but it seems to not be reading USB devices anymore. So this tutorial will actually work around that. I found a way um, to work around that. So yeah, so the first part is just going to be turning on your console, plugging in your USB device, um, and then going into your storage settings. And then you want to just make sure that your USB is clear and formatted, and you can use the Y button to do both of those. Um, and then you're going to go into your your hard drive and go to games and apps you're going to scroll all the way down to where Minecraft is and then you're going to find the Minecraft save info and what you're going to do is click on that and you're going to move not copy but move moving is fine and you're going to move that to your USB storage device wait for that to load and then you're going to go back to your um, hard drive as well and it's going to be under profiles and you want to get your profile that you use and you're going to move that over so once that's done, um, being transferred to your storage device, uh, after that all you're going to do is just go down to your storage device and make sure that both of those transferred with no issues. And then after that, um, that's pretty much it for the Xbox uh, portion, at least the first part. So now we're going to move over to the Mac. So now that you have your Mac open, um, the first step is going to be going to this website and downloading Velocity. Um, I'll put the link down below in the description. Um, you can see here that I downloaded it, so it's legit. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, so I don't think you guys will have a problem either. So you're going to wait for that to download, and you're just going to click on that link once it's downloading. And it's going to open up. And so your next step is just going to be opening, opening a new finder window, and you're going to make sure you want to do this. Um, you take that velocity program and just move it to your applications. Make sure you do this, because I had issues when I didn't do this. Then you can exit the program and eject it. Um, and then you'll be able to just open that through your application window and that gets rid of a lot of a lot of the issues that I was having um, so now that um, velocity is open you want to make sure that your USB is plugged in um, and you can see here I'm gonna open the raw device manager which other tutorials tell you to do but you can see that it does not read my USB so instead, you're going to go to the search window in the top right and type in E00. And your file will look somewhat similar. It's not going to be identical, but it'll look something like that. So you open that up. Then you're going to open up this top file. Um, and you're going to keep clicking until you get to Minecraft to save info. And then you're going to drag that into the Velocity program. So once you have that, um, the next step is just going to be going online and getting a map. Um, this is the website that I used. I'll put this link down below as well. Um, doesn't matter what map you can use, you can use whatever. So I'll just use this one. Um, and so you're gonna open that link and then you're gonna download the file. Once it's finished downloading, uh, you're just gonna drag that over to your desktop just to save time. You don't need to just click on it and open it. Um, once that's there, you can drag that into Velocity as well. So you drag it in, um, you'll see that it has a different profile ID, so you want to copy your profile ID, which was from that first file that we dragged in, so you copy that, and then you're going to paste that on the old, on the map profile ID right there, and then you're just going to click rehash and re resign. So once that's finished, um, you can exit the program or minimize it or whatever, um, and then you're going to go back to that search window and look up that E00 file once again and go right back to that Minecraft to save info like we did before and you're gonna drag that map now that is rehashed and re resigned and you're gonna move that into this um, this folder right here and then once you're done you can just eject that your disk and that's pretty much it for the Mac so now we're gonna move back to the Xbox alright so now that we're back on the 360 you're just gonna go back into your storage settings once again um, and then you're going to click on your USB storage 
and then you're going to move um, the map, which should be there now, um, to your hard drive. Um, and then you're going to take um, your Minecraft save info, move that to the hard drive as well. And then lastly, your profile. So you make sure all three of those are moved over. Um, and I would just do it in the same order that I did it here, just in case. Um, and then once that's finished, all you're going to do is boot up Minecraft. Um, Click your storage device, which should be your hard drive, um, and your map should be there. So you can load it up, uh, like you see here, and that's pretty much it. It's that simple. Um, I've done this three times, and it's worked two out of three times. Um, one of the maps that I did try to, to, to upload actually said that I had a corrupted file, so I have to retry that and see if it'll work. So I'm sure most of you know how to do this already, but if you wanted to get this map onto your Xbox One, um, you just press Y on your map um, once you're at the title menu, and then you just click Upload Save for Xbox One, and then you'd go onto your Xbox One and just upload it um, from your 360. It's that simple. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Um, I'm not a computer guy at all, so I'm glad I was able to figure this out. Um, it really helped me out a lot. Uh, so if this helped you guys at all, please make sure to leave a like. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any problems at all, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, and then again, make sure to follow my Twitter and Twitch uh, for when I live stream. Um, hopefully that'll be coming up soon. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.